Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. Today Google released Android 15 QPR2 Beta 3 that I have here on my 8 Pro. It's a small update but there are some notable changes that are worth mentioning. So without further ado, let's jump in. Let's start with the build number. It's BP11.241210.004 and before showing you the new features, let me tell you that these 12 new wallpapers have been added to the wallpapers by in-depth tech reviews app that you will find its Google Play Store download link in the description. And now let me show you the new features. The first thing I noticed after installing this build is a new widget under the clock called timer starter. So let me show you how it looks. You can resize it in pretty much all sizes as shown now on the screen. You can make it as big as the entire screen or smaller like this. It will give you three different presets to choose from in addition to the ability to create a new timer from here. I also found two new changes under the display settings. The first one is related to the screen resolution. Now the full resolution option is called max resolution. Under the screen timeout settings, the adaptive timeout toggle is back again after being removed from QPR2 beta 2. One more change under the display and touch settings that I almost missed. When you go to screen saver, in the previous beta, I showed you this new toggle called show additional information that only activates when you choose the colors option. Previously, choosing anything else will change the toggle into grayed out, but now it disappears completely and comes back again when you choose colors. Till now, this new toggle doesn't do anything. So let's wait and see. Gboard also got a similar behavior. If you only have one language, you will no longer see this globe button at the bottom right corner. So let me tap on it and then go to settings and remove the other language I have. And when I go back to Gboard, you will see that the icon is now gone. This will give you an indication that you only have one language, but at the same time, when you try to add a new one, it will take you more steps. One more feature not related to this build, but it's actually part of December 24 feature drop, which is the expressive captions. Once I installed this build, I got it immediately on my Pixel 8 Pro. So let me show you how it works. When the captions appear, you will see this new button that you can turn on or off. So that's it when it comes to the new features. Now let me show you three bugs I spotted while filming this video. The first one is under the wallpaper and the style app. When you go to lock screen and then clock color and size when you choose any color the brightness slider or the saturation slider is grayed out and it doesn't work and when i try to edit the clock style like this it will always appear in dark theme even though my phone is set to light theme and the last one is under settings and then storage you will notice here that the files app banner doesn't exist but when you tap on this area it will still take you to the app now let's talk about the bug fixes that come with this build and here i have the release notes we have a fix for an issue that caused a device to restart when making a phone call. Fixed an issue where trying to resume an app from the app preview would return to the home screen instead. Fixed issues where the language picker menu accessed by long pressing the spacebar changed the window. Then we have a fix for an issue that sometimes caused a clicking sound in the background while recording video. Fixed an issue that caused wireless charging to stop functioning in some cases. And then we have some other resolved issues as well, like fixed an issue that could cause devices to crash after restarting an exercise on connected Wear OS device. Fixed an issue with null pointer exceptions that sometimes caused the system UI to crash. Then we have a fix for an issue that caused the Android beta feedback app to crash sometimes when submitting a bug report. And finally fixed various other issues that we're impacting system stability, connectivity, and interactivity. Now let's talk about the performance and the stability. As I always say, the QPR beta builds are usually very stable and I don't face any major issues with them, beside the three bugs I already mentioned earlier. When it comes to the performance, I still see the performance to be pretty good, but when you take a look here at the Geekbench score I just did, you will see a massive improvement here in the multi-core score. This is the first time ever to get 4400 on the Pixel 8 Pro. As you see here in my history, I never exceeded the 4000 mark and I usually get uh, 3900, 3800 and so on. But this time I got 4400, which is a big number, but the single core score 
is within the same average I always get. So that's pretty much it for today. That's everything new in Android 15 QPR2 Beta 3. Please let me know in the comments if I missed anything. But for now, thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video.